Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to another episode of Blueprint Review. This is episode 36 and today we are going to be taking a look at the Advanced Maneuvers bundle which was added into the game, I think. Well, it was added into my store yesterday. Some of you guys may have gotten this bundle before I did, but this was personally added into my store today. So this is what this bundle consists of. It comes with a Bomber Beck skin, which you can see right here in a second. Looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. I really, really like how that skin looks. Then we have the barrel roll blueprint for the Krig, which you can see right here, which looks pretty dang awesome whenever it shows up. Come on, please show up. There we go. Pretty cool looking there. Again, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna review it or anything right now. Then it comes with the Skyburst Pistol Charlie, which I think might be the Diamante or the, yeah, it's definitely the Diamante, which you can see right there. And then it comes with the Cross Reticle, the Air Superiority Charm, which is a plane. And finally, last but not least, the Dogfight Sticker, which I pers personally wish was an emblem. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and purchase this. We're going to be using the both bl both blueprints today. I'm only going to be reviewing the primary, though. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and purchase this bad boy. And we'll go ahead and jump into a game with this. Now, this is a pretty cheap bundle, only 1,600 COD points. That's a pretty good price, I would say, for all this stuff. And I'm going to equip that Beck skin and equip the weapon. And I will see you guys all in the game. Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle for the winning. Welcome, or <laughs> welcome into the gameplay. Here is a look at the blueprint. Oh my gosh. I'm going to give this a good review. I freaking love this blueprint. But that's also because I freaking love history. I'm a history major <laughs> in college. So what does that tell you? It looks absolutely incredible. But let's see how it is in game. Now, one thing about the Krig I don't like is the iron sights, so unfortunately I'm stuck with the iron sights here. Oh god, those are horrible. I hate I hate them. I hate them so much, but it should be fine. Um, okay, there's a guy around here. Maybe there's a guy up here. Dang it, he had a he had a SMG. I was not I was not gonna win that gunfight there, but I actually have the Beck skin right now on my character. I'll show you what it looks like in game, quote unquote. Hello, I see you. Man, I may put a side on this, honestly. i okay, I freaking Yeah, I hate the iron sights. Let me just go ahead and quickly do that, actually. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go for the mill stop. And I would put the reticle on it, but unfortunately I can't right now. So normally I won't change blueprints, and I'm not changing anything except for putting a side on it. Um, which actually kind of works out kind of well, because this only has four attachments on it anyway. I just hate that. I just... The iron sights are so obstructive on this weapon. I just can't... can't I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Alright, anyways. I digress. <laughs> Let me head over this direction. Hello... Oh, actually, there's a guy playing AFK right over there. Take care of you with the quickness. Dang it. Almost got him. Not quite. And that actually looks really good. The, the site actually works with this blueprint really, really well. I'm happy with that. I mean, this is technically cheating in this series, but it comes with a reticle. The blueprint comes with a reticle. No way! Triple kill! Let's go! No way! That was <laughs> surprising, to say the least. Let me go over this way. Okay, let me head up. Come on, come out, come out wherever you are. Nice. I'm dead. I am dead. And here's a look at the pistol blueprint, by the way. Let me get into some, some better lighting. So you guys can take a look at it. I think the pistol variant looks really, really cool, too. Now, I'll talk more about it. I'll talk more about this blueprint here in a second. Well, we have to get the gameplay first. And this is my first game with this weapon, so keep that in mind as well. Okay, there's... Some people around here. I'm gonna throw that up there. Am I gonna get a stick? No. Now, the Krig is honestly one of the assault rifles, in my opinion, that is probably one of the better assault rifles in the game. And I still need to do that comparison video with the AK and the Krig, because those, are, in my opinion, are the two best ARs in the entire game. So, I'm excited to do that video for sure. There's one guy down. I think there might be someone in here. 
No, he's not. No, what are you doing? Why are you camping back there, my guy? All, all the, all the actions over here, dude. All the actions over here. Come on. Let's not play scared. Jeez, I was lucky as heck. Man. These guys are playing very, very, very defensive. Makes makes my job pretty difficult when they're playing pretty as defensive as this, but it's fine. Thank you. There's one guy down. Crap. What am I doing? Let me keep my sights up. There we go. Okay. Anyone in here? I'm going to place this down. Dang it. No one showed up. Okay. Nice. So I made sure... Oh my gosh. I made sure in this video to put on the weapon charm as well as the sticker. Unfortunately, you can't see the sticker very well. I put it on the wrong part of the weapon. I should have put it on the mag, but it's all right. So, and I also wish I put the reticle on as well to give that a go. But honestly, I don't think the reticle is going to be very good. And another triple kill. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. These guys are going to come back over this direction, I'm thinking. Yep, they're back over here. That guy's lagging horribly. There we go. Nice. Got got myself a kill with the Diamati. Yes. Nice. Should be able to get this tag. Yeah. I wonder if this weapon's real in real life. The Diamati. I'm sure it probably is. It might go by a different name though in real life. Okay. Nice. Get down. Okay. Yes, there's the streaks. You love to see it. You love to see it. Let me call in my harp right now. Let's get a good use out of this harp. There's going to be a guy here in three, two, one. Man, the VSAT. I am so happy this thing is back. I miss this streak so much. I said that in my gameplay with it, but. The world's greatest kill streak. You cannot change my mind on that one. Oh my gosh, the carnage. You just can't change my mind on it. 30 and 8, not bad at all with this blueprint. Well, the war machine is helping. <laughs> the war machine is definitely helping. There's the 15 gun streak. There we go. Another guy down. Unfortunately, the VSAT's gone. Doesn't matter, though. Gonna get that guy as well. If I get a kill with all three of these rounds... I can get to a 20 gun streak, but I don't think that's going to happen. Thank you very much. No way. I actually got that guy. Come on. Can the Krig get me the 20 gun streak? No, it cannot. All right, let's quickly call this in. Go, 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 go. 35 and 9, not bad. Kept keeping that 3 KD. Can actually get a death if I, if I need to. And okay. Yeah, I, this is going to be horrible for this. For this map, unfortunately. I I see absolutely no one. Oh, dang it. Come on. Come on. One kill. Yes, two kills. Okay. That's more than I thought I was going to get. I thought I was going to get none. See, why did... Why do you... I'm not going to complain about the maps in a video for once. But... I mean, why do we make maps with a bunch of buildings in them? Okay. And there we go. 37 and 9. My first game of the day and my first game with this blueprint. I really hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. Now, a lot of that was the war machine, I admit. But, I mean, the Krig was doing completely fine this gameplay. So, that, I mean, 
just because I use streaks, I mean, I was norm I was using the, the blueprint normally, minus me putting the sight on it, but I, I would recommend a sight either way. Oh, you can actually see the skin in game. There it is. Uh, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that gameplay. I had a lot of fun there, and I'll see you guys all in two seconds to go ahead and review the weapon. All right, guys, and welcome into the lobby. We're taking a look at the barrel roll blueprint for the Krig, and this is what it looks like in game with the weapon charm as well as the sticker on it. If I can, I think I can get a side view of this weapon actually. If I put on stickers, eh, not really. But you can see the sticker there, and you can see the weapon charm there. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the attachments first, and then we will go ahead and talk about, you know, the stuff we normally talk about: the aesthetic, the practicality, and the worth. So starting off with the very first attachment, we have the 16.5 inch ultralight barrel, which gives you improved strafe speed, which I think means when you're moving left to right, aiming down sights, it's, that speed is increased. Then we have ourselves the Ember Sighting Point uh, Laser, which gives you improved reveal distance and improved hipfire accuracy at the cost of sprint to fire time and aim down sight speed. Then for the grip, we have ourselves the Bruiser Grip, which gives you improved movement speed, improved sprinting movement speed, improved shooting movement speed, and improved walking aim movement speed by a very, very small amount, only 3% for each. And then last but not least, we have ourselves the Wire Stock, which gives you improved sprint to fire time plus 10%, which kind of negates a little bit of this attachment as well. So, now that we have all the attachments out of the way, this is a legendary blueprint which you guys saw earlier in the video, and which means that it comes with four attachments. Well, this specific one comes with only four attachments, which means that you can put a sight on it, uh, but which I'll get to in the practicality of it here in a second. But first, I want to talk about the aesthetic first. So, starting off here with the aesthetic, the aesthetic on this weapon is really, really nice. I like it a lot, like a lot, a lot. As you got, from what you heard in my, just from me just opening up or using this blueprint in the in the game for the first time. That's basically where you can see most of the aesthetic. I just really freaking like it. I think it looks so, so cool. It is a kind of a old school aesthetic to it. The For those of you guys who don't know, the Red Baron was a uh, infamous or famous, depending on how you want to look at it, pilot within World War One on the German side. Just in case you guys were wondering, and just the aesthetic is awesome. I really, really like it. It looks sort of like a old school ad, like you would, or an old school poster that you would kind of see on the street back in that period. And I think it looks awesome. I really, really like the aesthetic. I think it looks super, super cool. It's not anything amazing, but it does pop a lot, like the previous, like the previous blueprints that we covered with the anime bundle. I, it just pops and I really like it. Red is my favorite color, so I really just like it. Uh, here's also a look at the pistol blueprint really quick in case you guys were just wondering what this pistol blueprint looked like. I think this looks really, really awesome as well. And the only complaint I have about the Craig here is that it doesn't have as much red as the Diamati blueprint, but it still looks really, really nice. So for the aesthetic, I'm going to give it a really, really good. Next, for the practicality, this weapon is definitely a practical weapon. As I said, I'm going to do a weapon comparison video on this weapon with the best ARs in the game between this one and the AK-47. So that's a video that I'm going to do here in the near future, maybe tomorrow. So the, this weapon is really, really good. As for the attachments that are on it, I think they're pretty good. They really work well together. As you can see, I got a good score, my first ever game using it. And that's something that I want to keep in mind is that the attachments don't really have a massive impact on the weapon. From all the blueprints that we've covered here in this video, the only blueprint that I hated was the Street Sweeper. The rest of them have been pretty good. And the, and the attachments have been random and haven't personally been attachments that I would use. Like I would probably use this attachment, probably would use this barrel or this one, just you know to, to use those barrels. But it's still a good weapon and it still did really, really well in my personal opinion. So the practicality is gonna get a pretty good for me. The only complaint I have is that it doesn't come with a sight, and I hate the iron sights on this weapon with a passion. But on the bright side, you can put a sight on it. It doesn't really change the aesthetic at all in any way, shape, or form. And you can also put the new reticle that comes with this as well, which you can see right there. I don't, I, I wasn't able to test the reticle in game, but it doesn't look like it's the best. It's the best reticle ever. It kind of, it, it it's just kind of a, it's a red iron cross. So it's not the best, but I don't think many of you guys use reticles to begin with. I know I personally don't use reticles that often, but if you guys want to use it, it's pretty fun to use it nonetheless. 
so because not all the attachments are good and you do have to put a slide on it in my opinion i'm gonna give the practicality a good still because i mean this is the first sight you get and you know sights are pretty simple they don't change the weapon at all in any way as you can see there's no positives there's no negatives that's just what it does so perfect but i definitely recommend having a close range sight so i wouldn't put the 2x or the 3x or the 4x on it i would just keep a uh, the mill stop the cobra the quick dot the Silix Hollow Scout or the Microflex LED or the Hawksmoor site, but that's just up to you, of course, as well. So the practicality is going to get a good from me. And then last but not least, is this blueprint worth it? So as you as you saw from the beginning of the video, it's a 1600 COD point bundle. So again, it's up to personal preference. It does come with the skin, which you can see right here, which I think it looks pretty cool. You're not you're never going to see it in game, but I think it just looks kind of cool. And if you guys want to you know use it in game and have the people you're playing against see this cool skin then you can use that but the skin doesn't really mean that much to me the, but as for the weapons that's what this series is all about it's about the blueprints in the bundle not about the skins or the other stuff in it but i mean honestly i think that it's worth it if you like history or if you just like the craig as a weapon because there's not very many craig blueprints i mean i only have two in here one of them is the battle pass the one that i covered not too long ago and then this one here but but yeah again the worth is up to personal preference for me it was worth it because i like history and stuff and i have card points to spare but if it's you know it's up to you that's, that's all i can really say about these bundle blueprints because you have to spend physical money on them so i'm going to say that it's up to personal preference but if you like the craig and you like the weapon i definitely recommend buying this bundle if you want to and because it's a good blueprint and it looks really really cool as well but anyway guys that is going to do it for this episode of blueprint review if i were going to give this a final rating out of 10 i'm honestly going to give this an 8 out of 10 i love this blueprint i think it looks absolutely incredible and you'll probably see me do gameplay with it tomorrow when i make my class i just think it looks that good in my personal opinion but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did like it as always appreciate it if you want to check out any of my other previous blueprint review videos i'll leave them all linked down below in the playlist in the description i have absolutely loved doing this series over the past couple weeks it's just been so fun this series is just one of my favorite series of all all time and i'm so glad i had the idea to do it back during modern warfare 2019 so that playlist also has all my modern warfare 2019 episodes as well which is pretty awesome so uh, anyways i will see you guys all on another black ops cold war video very very soon